Let's see how we can make our own fonts using Microsoft Font Maker. So we need to go to the Microsoft Store in Windows 10, and from here we're going to go to Search, and we're going to type in Microsoft Font Maker. And there it is. Now I've gone ahead and installed it already just to save the time, but this is what it looks like, and you'll see the Install button instead of the Launch button. All right, so once we launch it, then we're going to see all these letters and symbols. And what you need to do is you need to have a, an electronic pen in order to draw in here. You can't use your mouse to draw inside any of these letters. But once you do, which I'm going to show you in a second, then you'll be able to create a font in any style you want. So you see the uppercase and the lowercase uh, letters as well as numbers and certain symbols. Now let's go ahead and draw in our first letter. This is going to be a capital A. You do not have to trace over what the letters are. This is just because we're doing this freehand using an electronic pen. Now we'll go ahead and speed this up so you can see the letters get drawn on the screen. And eventually we'll get to the lowercase ones. And we can also do the numbers and symbols if we want. The next step is going to be to write out exactly what you see on the screen. But again, this is freehand, so just do it in uh, the, the way that you want the font to look. And this gives Microsoft a good idea of how it is you want this font to look in its final form. In this next section, you see we have a paragraph written out. And then at the bottom, you can go in and you can make adjustments to things like the space between the words. After that, we can save our font as a file, and then we can import it into a word processing program such as Microsoft Word. Now we need to go ahead and open up Control Panel, and if you can't find it, just go down to the search, go type in search, and type in Control Panel, and it'll pop up. Once you get to Control Panel, you're going to want to go to the All Control Panel items. So go to Category, and then go to Large Icons, and then you can see all the icons spread out. Next, we want to go to where it says Fonts. Click on Fonts, and there's all our fonts that are used for Microsoft Word, Excel, and all the other programs that need uh, a different type of font. So we've saved our TechPub font right here to the desktop. I'm just going to drag that into the fonts, and you're going to see it get installed. It's all done, and now we'll scroll down because it's all alphabetical, and we see our TechPub font. Now we'll go ahead and go into Microsoft Word, and we'll create a new document. So now we're in Word, and we're at the Home tab at the top, and we're going to click on the little drop-down arrow, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to the T's, or you can just type the letter T and it gets there faster. And you're going to see the TechPub font. And there it is, TechPub font. And we'll go ahead and make it large so we can see it, what it's doing. And there it is. This is the TechPub font. And just to give you a comparison, we'll just go ahead and choose Calibri and say this is Calibri font. So it shows you the difference between uh, what a sort of a standard stock font is and our new font. And you can make those letters in any way you want. You can be as creative as you would, would like to be. And so that is how you use Microsoft Font Maker to create a new font and then import it into Microsoft Word.